The International Charter Space and Major Disasters is a non-binding charter which provides for the charitable and humanitarian retasked acquisition of and transmission of space satellite data to relief organizations in the event of major disasters. Initiated by the European Space Agency and the French Space Agency CNES after the UNISPACE3 conference held in Vienna, Austria in July 1999, it officially came into operation on November 1, 2000 after the Canadian Space Agency signed onto the charter on October 20, 2000. Their space assets were then, respectively, ERS and Invisit, SPOT and Formosat, and RADARSAT. The assorted satellite assets of various corporate, national, and international space agencies and entities provide for humanitarian coverage which is wide albeit contingent. First activated for floods in northeast France in December 2001, the charter has since brought space assets into play for numerous floods, earthquakes, oil spills, forest fires, tsunamis, major snowfalls, volcanic eruptions, hurricanes and landslides, and furthermore and unusually for the search for Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 and for the 2014 West Africa Ebola outbreak. As of 2015, 15 space agencies are signatories, dozens of satellites are available with image resolutions ranging from 8 km 5 miles per pixel to about 0.3 m per pixel. As of August 2018, it had had 579 activations, from 125 countries, and had 17 members, which contributed 34 satellites. It won the prestigious PECORA Award in 2017. Topic successive signatories and satellite assets The United States National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, POSE, GOES, and Indian Space Research Organization ISRO, September 2001, the Indian Remote Sensing Satellite Series Argentine Space Agency CONAE, July 2003, SAC-C, February 2005 Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency JAXA, ALOS, 2005 United States Geological Survey USGS as part of the U.S. team, Landsat, QuickBird, GOI-1. November 2005 The British Space Agency BNSC UK DMC, with the company DMCII May 2007 China National Space Administration CNSA, the FY, SJ, ZY Satellite Series, DMC International Imaging, the Algerian Space Agency Centre National Day Technique Spatials, ALSAT-1, the Nigerian National Space Research and Development Agency, Nigeriasat, the Turkish Space Agency TUBITAK, BILSAT-1, the British company BNSC, Surrey Satellite Technology Limited, UKDMC, the British company BNSC, Kinetic, Top Saturday, 2012 German Aerospace Centre, DLR, Terrasar X, Tandem X, 2012 Korea Aerospace Research Institute, Kerry, Ararang 3, 3A, 5, 2012 Instituto Nacional de Pesquisa Espacie, Brazil, INPE, 2012 European Organization for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites, EUMETSAT, 2013 Russian Space Agency, Resurs DK No. 1, Resurs P No. 1, Canopus V, Meteor M1, 2016, Bolivarian Agency for Space Activities, ABAE, VRSS-1, as of 2012 the live satellites and their instrumentalities were, the high-resolution and very high-resolution radar sensors of Invisit, decommissioned in April, RISAT-1, RADARSAT-1 and 2, Terrasar-X and Tandem-X, the high 
resolution and very high resolution optical sensors of spot satellites 4 and 5 Pleiades, Landsat 5 and 7, PROBA 1, UKDMC 2, KOMPSAT 2, IRSP 5, RESOURCESAT 2, OCEANSAT 2, CARTOSAT 2, IMS 1, and RapidEye, the medium and low resolution optical sensors of POSE, GOES, and SAC C. Furthermore, specific agreements with other entities, including corporations, allow the charter access to additional products of high and very high resolution from satellites such as the Formosat series, GeoEye, Econos, QuickBird, and Worldview. In 2014, the charter was activated 41 times for disasters in 30 countries. In that year the live satellites and their instrumentalities included, the high and very high resolution radar sensors of RISAT-1, RADARSAT-2, Terrasar-X, and Tandem-X and Sentinel-1A, the optical high and very high resolution sensors of UKDMC-2, Landsat-7 and 8, Spot Series 5, 6, and 7, Pleiades 1A and 1A. 1B, Proba 1, SJ9A, GF1, KOMPSAT2, IRSP5, CARTOSAT1, CARTOSAT2, RESOURCESAT2, OCEANSAT2, RapidEye, Canopus V, and Resurs P, and the HDTV camera mounted the Kibo module of the International Space Station, and the medium and low optical sensors of Poe. GOES, FY3C, the METOP series, the first two Meteosat generations, and Meteor M. Specific agreements with other entities allow for the usage of the Formosat, GeoEye, Econos, QuickBird, and Worldview satellites, which have high and very high resolution. Archival data from defunct satellites such as ALOS, Invisit, ERS, CBERS, IRS-1C, Astra-1D, IRS-P4, P6, IMS-1, RADARSAT-1, SAC-C, SPOT-1-3 and 4, UKDMC, Landsat-5 and Nigeriasat are also available. Topic. Major events resulting in activation This is very much a partial list. The 500th activation of the Charter was on 1 August 2016. 2004, the Charter was activated for the 2004 Indian Ocean Earthquake and Tsunami by the Indian Space Research Organization the 14th of January 2010, the French Civil Protection Authorities, Public Safety Canada, the American Earthquake Hazards Program of USGS and the UN Stabilization Mission in Haiti requested a post-event map of Haiti, two days after the 2010 Haiti earthquake, via the Space and Major Disasters Charter. The 22nd of February 2011, both Kojic French Civil Protection and the American USGS requested the activation of the charter on the behalf of MCDEM New Zealand, thus readily providing satellite imagery for aid and rescue services following the 2011 Christchurch earthquake. The 12th of March 2011, Japan, through its space agency JAXA, requested the activation of the charter to help in managing the aftermath of 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. The 8th of November 2013, the charter was activated by Philippine authorities as Super Typhoon Haiyan made landfall.
The 11th of March 2014, the charter was activated by Chinese authorities to aid in the search for Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 which disappeared on March 8, 2014, en route from Kuala Lumpur International Airport to Beijing Capital International Airport. 9 October 2014, the charter was activated by the USGS on behalf of National Geospatial Agency to monitor the 2014 West Africa Ebola outbreak in Sierra Leone, specifically, the first time its space assets have been used in an epidemiological role. 4 May 2016, Public Safety Canada activated the charter for the Fort McMurray wildfire. 13 August 2016, the charter was activated by the USGS in response to the 2016 Louisiana floods. 24 August 2017, the charter was activated by the USGS for Hurricane Harvey. 5 September 2017, the charter was activated by the Commission Nacional de Emergencias in the Dominican Republic for Hurricane Irma, Haiti and the United States followed suit shortly thereafter. 19 September 2017, the charter was activated in the aftermath of 2017 Central Mexico earthquake. 20 September 2017, the charter was activated by the Commission Nacional de Emergencias CNE in the Dominican Republic for Hurricane Maria. The 22nd of November 2017. The charter was activated by the Commission Nacional de Actividades Espaciales due to the disappearance of Era San Juan. Topic. See also Footprint Satellite International Designator List of Earth Observation Satellites Satellite Catalog Number Space Exploration